Hey there YouTube. Today I'm making a quick video on diagnosing the all-wheel drive system on your 2008 Razor. So my problem turned out to be the switch. And the way that I deduced that it was the switch was when I was out on the trail, I could turn this on and off really fast and eventually it would kick on because there's something broken in the switch so I was clearing the crud out by turning it on and off and on and off and plus when it was wet it worked a little bit better. Um, and then I took it out, checked the contacts with the multimeter, and sure enough, it was intermittently not switching on. Um, actually, I can show you how I did that. Okay, so here's the all-wheel drive switch, and the center pin is the one that's switched. These two are always connected to each other, so when you switch it on, you should have all three of these connected to each other. So. I'll draw a diagram on how the whole system works on a whiteboard um, to explain it, but suffice it to say that when you switch this on, every single time these two contacts should be connected. So if you put a multimeter in ohm mode, you should get no resistance between these two terminals when the switch is on. So just for example, probing those two connectors, turn the switch on with one hand. That's how it should work, uh, but like I said, it was intermittent and driving me absolutely crazy. Okay, so I decided to just post a wiring diagram. So some people online said that the all-wheel drive switch was grounded through the ECM or their computer. Um, and in this wiring diagram, you can see that it is not. This is the condensed diagram, that, which only has the circuits that are relevant. I'll go ahead and put the entire wiring diagram in the description, but um, you can see that the positive power is supplied from circuit 98. It's a red and the white wire that goes to the splice near the fuse box. And the ground is actually supplied by the speedometer, circuit 116, which is a brown and white wire. Um, so your speedometer actually has to give the ground to the coil to engage the Hillard clutch. And so your speedometer can actually cause a lot of issues. Uh, so if you are not able to sense the gear that you're in, your speedometer will not allow the ground. Uh, similarly, if the RPM is above 3100 RPM, it will not give the ground. So uh, your speedometer could be the issue, but uh, if your speedometer turns out to be the root cause of the issue, you can just give a ground via wire 59, which is pin 3 on the all-wheel drive switch. While I have this diagram up, you can also just uh, put pin 3 on the switch to pin 2 on the switch, and that will tell you if your switch is bad as well. Now, on eBay, I found that this exact replacement part number for the 2008, which I'll put right here, was 60 bucks. But then I just looked for any Razor, Ranger, all-wheel drive switch and I found this one which has the added benefit of being illuminated at night, like the light switch is. Like, let me turn this on and show you. Okay, so see how that little line there is illuminated? And the original switch doesn't have that. But, um, so yeah, this one was 10 bucks used on eBay because they're plentiful. Um, and it fixed my problem. Oh yeah, let me turn it on and show you the indicator.
Okay, and some of the other issues that you can have that cause this all-wheel drive not to work, I know because I've done it all. Um, the other issue is a bad ground under your seat here. So that ground right there can become corroded. And if you have bad ground, you can't enable the all-wheel drive. Um, that was not my problem. Okay, so you'll see there's a connector for the all-wheel drive, the front uh, diff. This connector here can get crud in it, it'd be bad. Um, that was not my problem. Some people just splice these wires to the corresponding wires, uh, basically eliminating the connector and that fixes it for them. That wasn't my problem. Oh, and then the other thing is the RPM has to be below 3000. And then, because it won't allow you to turn on the all-wheel drive if you're going too fast. Then the other thing is the gear selector, which is actually a problem that I have, but it was not my root cause. Um, if your gear selector isn't working, sorry, if the gear selector sensor isn't working and you can't see what gear you're in, that'll cause your all-wheel drive not to work as well because your speedometer will not send the signal. Alrighty, and since I want to make sure that the front wheel drive is actually engaging, I got the razor lifted up. It's off all four wheels using jack stands and jacks. And now I'm going to see if the front wheels spin when I put it in all wheel drive while teetering on jack stands. Oh. Alright, now the other side. Alright, back in two wheel drive. Whoop, let's go forward so I don't run this into my house. Alright, and it looks like the all wheel drive is also disengaging. Alright. Just want to say that this is extremely sketchy doing it this way because if I was hitting the gas and it got traction, it would scoot out from under me. So if you do this, make sure you do it very safely and cautiously. But I hope this test was informative for you. Uh, don't try this at home, etc., etc. And uh, yeah, I tried to be as succinct as possible. I hope this video helps and uh, thanks for watching.